Hi, welcome back to the channel and welcome to this very, very short video. So the whole idea of this video is to answer a question actually by one of the viewers. So recently I uh, posted a number of videos that was focusing on my favorite software. And uh, one of those bits of software was Log4OM. And I had a, a request from a, a chap called Martin. Uh, M3YCM uh, basically asking me to do a quick video on how to get the WSJTX software and Log4OM version 2 configured properly so that they would talk to each other and Log4OM would upload a QSO done by WSJTX um, into a login package. So anyway, this is a quick video. Hopefully it will explain how to do that and uh, there we go, let's get into it. Okay, let's first of all just um, get a quick uh, QSO, FT8 QSO in the logbook. And then let's show you what's happening. So. This is Grid Tracker on the top that you can see. Uh, this is the uh, callable roster. So on here you can actually see all of the uh, stations that I can hear. Um, and literally I can double click on any of these and initiate an FT8 uh, QSO with them. So I don't have to do that through, F through uh, WSJTX. I can actually do it in here. Uh, so let's just wait until we uh, have had a QSO with someone and then we will just check that it's all working okay. Ah, good, okay, we've got a station just come back to us. Brilliant, okay, so we've got a station just come back to us. Click OK, that should now go in the logbook if it's working. So let's just move that out of the way. That was the route that you could see there to HB9 HCO in JN37, which is up here. Uh, let's move that and good, excellent. Okay, so it's worked. So there is the QSO to Switzerland. Good, okay. So um, let's take that out of the way for now. And let's load up the settings of WSJTX. Now it's important to remember that what you're about to see are the settings based on the fact that I'm also using Grid Tracker. And I'll explain the differences to you now. So basically what happens is WSJTX broadcasts using UDP the QSO that we've just had. Okay. And it broadcasts it to Grid Tracker. So let me just, uh, I don't know where I've just put that. There we go. Right. Uh, let me show you this. Right. Here we go. Sorry, I've got so many screens open here. Okay. Let me just show you this. So it broadcasts it to Grid Tracker. Um, you can see the IP address uh, there, sorry, which is there. And it puts it out on UDP port 2237, which the fact that this is blue uh, and the fact that that's green means everything's working perfectly. What Grid Tracker then does is it rebroadcasts it out um, on 2236, port 2236. And I'll show you that in just one second. Um, if you are going to be using Grid Tracker, you just need to remember to load the various software packages up in, in, a, in the right order. So you load up Log4OM before you load up Grid Tracker. Okay. So let's just go to the settings of Log4OM. Let's move Grid Tracker out of the way for a minute and then you can actually see these both side by side. So under software integration, under connections, what you'll actually see in here, the one with the tick by the side of it, is the one that's actually working now, the one that's active. So you remember that I said that Grid Tracker rebroadcasts 
that information out on 2236 and there it is so all I've done is created in here a new entry 2236 called it grid tracker um, service type is ADIF message add that and it puts it in down here I don't want it to be live so I'll just untick that in fact I can actually delete it but just so you can see it um, now if I wasn't using grid tracker I'd be using this line here 2237 which again is just another entry up here WSJTX login so effectively WSJTX would send out that UDP message on 2237 and instead of it being picked up by grid tracker it would be picked up by um, log for om that's it it's as simple as that um, there's not really anything else to set to be totally honest with you so there you go okay hopefully that was useful um, hope you enjoy the videos and if you do don't forget to give me a thumbs up and maybe even like and share this okay until next time stay safe and uh, see you soon seven free for now bye bye Thank you.